and welcome to How I Got My Dreads. Um, the channel is for sharing with you my uh, dread journey and progress along the way and any uh, helpful tips uh, that, that I can share with you to make your dread journey um, that much easier and better. Um, okay, so today what I'm going to be talking about um, are basically uh, buffs and dread bands and sports. Um, okay, first of all, um, let's start off with buffs. Um, buffs are a super handy uh, uh, thing. Um, you've probably seen them. Um, just little things like this. And um, you just... Uh, Use them for tying back your hair or covering covering up your hair, um, whatever. Um, when you're doing uh, different things outside in the sun or whatever, um, I um, since day one, I actually uh, sleep with a buff on my head. Um, it keeps the my dreads um, sort of out of the way and tied back, kind of. And um, most importantly. Um, it, I think it really, especially in the early stages, uh, when your dreads are a little more fragile and susceptible um, to uh, rough handling, uh, they help to protect. And I think that it helps especially to cut down on the loose hairs and so forth um, that you would normally get from uh, your head rubbing on your pillow and tossing and turning through the night. Uh, so anyway, um, if you go to the Buff website, um, they show you uh, a dozen different ways um, to wear uh, that, that you can wear wear a buff. Uh, they're quite versatile. I won't go into all all that. Um, and they they even have a YouTube channel. Um, so here we go. Okay, so at night, um, you can like wear them as a, as a balaclava or something or whatever. But anyway, at night what I do is I just go like this. See? Just like that. And it keeps my dreads uh, out of the way and all protected and so forth so there we go and um, they're available in a bunch of different stores uh, normally what I do I just buy direct from buff online um, they have free shipping uh, for orders of forty dollars or more and they have sales quite frequently too uh, so um, I usually buy them when they're on sale and uh, the shipping is, is super fast. It's, uh, I order it and two or three days later it's delivered to my door, which is awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so that's that one here, this one, and uh, I'll just uh, quickly show you the other one. And you can go like that too if you want. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, it's uh, probably one of the most useful. Uh, um, accessories you can get for, for dreads um, and they're lightweight and breathable and nice and cool too. Um, I got my dreads back in uh, June and wore it all through the summer and that and no, no problem at all. It wasn't, uh, wasn't hot at night on the uh, 
they're really hot nights. There's no no issues at all. So yeah. So those are the uh, the uh, full size buffs. Anyway, um, you can also get um, the buff headbands, which are kind of cool. wear them in all kinds of different ways. Uh, now that my dreads are getting longer, uh, I kind of like to do this. I um, basically fold it in half. There, so it's not, uh, not quite as thick. And especially as the dreads get longer, um, it uh, really comes in handy uh, doing that because it uh, keeps the dreads uh, out of the way, basically. Yeah. Okay, went back a little too far. So yeah. like that, whatever, keeps the, the uh, dreads up out of your eyes, off your face, whatever. You can do the same kind of thing with a bandana too, but I find these are easier. You don't have to tie them; they're less bulky and they're, you know, they stretch. Um, okay, now uh, to get into the sports aspect of it, um, Buff also has a uh, they have a helmet liner. Uh, the helmet liners are a lot smaller. They're made of a totally different material. It's really, really lightweight and breathable. Um, so they're really cool and they dry super, super fast, which is good because as a helmet liner, you're uh, using them obviously for sports and stuff and they get sweaty. So what you do is you go like this. They're basically same ideas with the others. And just let me show you what it looks like at the back. Um, yeah. Okay, so now you have that on, and now you uh, put on your helmet. Okay, this is my uh, bike helmet for mountain biking.
There we go. And this way, it uh, with the liner in there, it helps to, well, it soaks up some of the sweat. And it uh, helps to uh, protect your dreads um, because there is, you know, rubbing and so forth and all that. So, yeah, just uh, keep some neat tidy out of the way. I'll do a quick spin around. Let you see the back on that. Okay, and next we'll do the uh, ski helmet for skiing, basically same idea. Now also, um, when, when you get dreads, um, if you have a, like a ski helmet or something, uh, from before, it's not going to fit. <laughs> um, my, it just, uh, I tried my old helmet on um, at the start of the, just before the start of the ski season in the fall, and there was just no way that it would fit. Um, so I had to get a bigger helmet. Uh, <laughs> actually, got the biggest size they had. And uh, yeah, that works. So, there we go. Okay, so that's with the two helmets. And another handy thing um, that you might not know is available, but it is, um, and that's a swim cap. Um, you can get swim caps. There's a, a place in, actually of all places, Australia, which makes sense uh, with the weather and surf and everything. Um, and they, they sell them, uh, well, it says Dread Empire on here, or the shop is called the Dread Den. And um, um, they have a website, you order online, and I'll uh, put a, a link down below in the description um, to their website or whatever. But anyway, um, these swim caps are awesome. Um, they're made of uh, really thick uh, rubber um, so they're strong and durable and so forth and um, they actually come in two sizes this is large and they have an extra large uh, but obviously my my dreads aren't uh, uh, nearly long enough to need a an extra large and I would think that well unless you started with really long hair um, it's probably going to be, you know, a couple years anyway, uh, before you would even, uh, need, um, the extra large because they, they are so big. So yeah, you just, uh, stick them on, squeeze all the air out, so forth. And yeah, make sure they're all tucked in at the back and stuff. And if you put them down below your ears, then that'll keep uh, basically keep all the water out. There, I just uh, 
pushing the air out. And uh, there we go. I'll do a spin around, let you see it. And, well, you probably don't see as much right now because I squeezed all the air out, but there's a uh, there's lots of lots of room in here for uh, longer dreads so you can go swimming and keep your hair dry you don't have to worry about all the you know the hassles of uh, drying and so forth all the time or if you're swimming in water that's uh, not particularly good for dreads has all kinds of crap in it or whatever then uh, keeps that out of, out of the dreads and protects them. There we go. Um, yeah, so you just take that off, whatever. And, yeah. And the uh, helmet liner is uh, really good for the uh, the rubber swim cap because that uh, you know that way the dreads aren't directly on the rubber and it's a lot uh, a lot more gentle on the dreads and on you um, also from that place in Australia um, they have this really super cool um, uh, dread band it's uh, kind of the shape of a buff or sort of thing but it's uh, it's a totally different material. It's almost uh, like made out of uh, I don't know a legging or something for women, ladies, uh, yoga wears, some, something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, when I first got it, I thought, holy shit, how's how's that going to fit on my head or whatever? But uh, you just kind of stretch it out a bit at first like that and then you just put it on like you do the buffs and so forth There we go, and so it's like a shorter buff or whatever, and you can uh, you can fold it up. You don't have to do it, you know, have it all the way or whatever. You know, you just sort of do whatever whatever you feel like. Make it whatever length you want, whatever. And it's something, you know, particularly when the dreads get longer or that, or you want them off your face or, you know, keep them back or out of the way. Uh, yeah, and uh, one thing about this is, like, it's made out of a really lightweight uh, cotton material and um, quite porous or whatever um, so anyway it's, it's really cool in that uh, which makes sense because the company's uh, from Queensland down in Oz so it's uh, hot year round there beautiful weather there um, yeah and they come in all kinds of different colors and that and they're really uh, quite cheap and they have multi-packs too, I think six packs that you can get for quite, uh, quite a reasonable price, whatever. When I bought them, I, I just bought just bought the one to try it out, see what it was like. Um, yeah, okay. And then um, 
also have uh, one more dread band here to show you. Um, this one is a dread band from uh, Dreadhead HQ. Uh, ordered it online from, from their website. Um, and anyway, it's, uh, it's fleece. Um, so it's made of fleece and micro fleece, whatever. So it's really warm, which is great. Um, I think it's more for uh, uh, longer, when your dreads get longer kind of thing. Um, so I really haven't worn it much. And also, uh, I was told um, not to wear it at first, uh, when I first had my dreads installed, um, because it is fleece and uh, the, the microfibers will come off and uh, get locked in your dreads. But, you know, at this point it doesn't matter because my dreads are, you know, all felted up in that and they're fairly uh, mature. Yeah, so same sort of idea, you know, do that, or you could, uh, you know, do a an onion kind of thing too. Once your dreads get uh, longer, <laughs> do that, and uh, of course you can uh, fold it over in half or whatever. It doesn't have to be full size at all. And yeah. So, anyway, it uh, is something to keep you warm, keep the dreads out of the way, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, basically that's about it. Um, won't go into any uh, further further stuff on this video. It's probably uh, gone way too long anyway, as is. Um, so anyway, hope uh, you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button. If you uh, want to see more, uh, hit subscribe. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and visiting my channel, How I Got My Dreads. And we'll see you all next time. Take care. Thanks. Bye.